Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Marks. I am a librarian and indie author looking to make better financial decisions so that I can push my publishing career to something a little more than a loss. You know, maybe a profit. I write romance, fantasy, and horror books. Information about buying those books and supporting me is down in the description below. This is my first video for this new YouTube channel. I had been publishing these videos on my fantasy and horror channel, but I realized it was getting confusing for people and it was time to do this independently. So if this is something you're interested in learning more about, stick around. My first video for this channel is going to be a cash condensing. I was getting ready to do a cash stuffing video and realized I have a lot of small bills and I needed to condense them. So when I went to get cash for my personal cash stuffing this week, I went and got hundreds. And then as I condensed last week to pull out money to pay credit cards back, I pulled out some bigger denominations from that, that I can swap out and condense my current four binders with. I have here in my stack $890. I'm gonna give it a count so that you can see that it is 890. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have 890 and I'm just gonna go through binder by binder so that you can see what I have been stuffing. And I will, since it's my first video on this channel, explain what each binder is and what the envelopes are for. This will be followed by a cash stuffing video of me adding more to this. I am about two months into doing cash stuffing, both for my publishing stuffing and my personal stuffing. So it's still a little touch and go, but I keep adding more envelopes as I work out the finesses of my budget and trying to make sure I have cash at a time. So we'll start with this one. This is my Sarah binder. It's all stuff that relates to me, specifically makeup, which has nothing in it, skincare, which has nothing in it, things like hair appointments. And what I do is I just, I don't want to buy a Cricut. I'm using the supplies I have at home. I write on the back how much I need. So for example, this has 25 in it, doesn't get any condensing. In fact, it's, it's really not these that are going to get condensing. It's uh, some of the bigger ones, but it's worth going through and seeing what's in each of them so that you understand. Uh, so this is for hair appointments and for shampoo, conditioner, things that take care of my hair. So makeup, skin care specifically, and then hair. Um, pedicures, I get one every other month and they're about $60. So I have 20, 30, one, two, three, nothing to condense there. And I probably won't have much condensing over the next few months as I'm still building up a lot of these. And this, this planner, this binder especially is a short term uh, rolling fund in that I tend to get some, one of these services every other month, maybe every two months. So the money comes out. Massage, I do get one every other month. Uh, it is critical for my health and it has $40 in it. This is one that will probably be condensed. Actually, I don't know. Uh, edibles. Um, I live in a state where uh, marijuana is legal and to help me sleep and to help me manage my any anxiety I have, I use edibles once a week. Um, but I tend to buy um, some every six months or so and I tend to well, no, I like to have about $100 in reserve to spend every six months. So 20, 32. Uh, and it is not 
completely stuffed right now because it's I bought some in July and I won't have to buy any again until December. Quip, I have a subscription to Quip, the electrical toothbrush company, and every few months they send me more and I need about $20 for that. I have 22, nothing much to stuff. And finally, my supplements envelope. These are any supplements I need. Uh, I take a hair care supplement to maintain strong growth in my hair. And that is <clears throat> about four to $500 every six months. So I have 100 and then 50, 250s. So I will take those out, put the 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 10, uh, 100, 2, 3, 4, 20, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 429. Uh, and the, uh, this is actually quite far ahead, so I will very likely put this in savings soon so that when it is off my credit card, all I have to do is take it, transfer it out of my savings account into my checking account so that I can pay the bill. I'm increasingly preferring to pay with things via credit card and then just moving the money to pay the credit card bill right away so that I can get some points. So that is my personal binder, personal short-term sinking funds. This one, the Virgo, I am a Virgo. We are a month away, just under a month away from my birthday, uh, is where I keep some just miscellaneous short-term stuffing envelopes, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I just refilled my Dunkin' Donuts card, so it has nothing. My Starbucks card is well-funded. I keep 25 there. 25 a month gets funded, unless 25 is already sitting there. Gasoline's not going to get stuffed. My water bill just got paid but I have 25 in here and I have 80 in my uh, gasoline. That's about how I how much I pay a month. I don't do a lot of driving, so I only tend to fill up once, maybe twice a month. House cleaning, I pay every quarter to have someone come in and do sort of a deep dive on house cleaning, 20, 40, 60, 81. That way the deeper clean of my house happens. And again, I'll, once I get to about 350, I'll put it in the bank till the next cleaning happens and then pay off the credit card. Gifts. Uh, these are to pay for family gifts. I don't have a lot of gifts that we do. Uh, we tend to do parents on their birthdays. My niece is the biggest expense. She gets a, um, every other month she gets a box from KiwiCo or Panda Crate, depending on how you've seen it promoted. And it's toys for her to play with. She's only a year old, so these are really easy gifts. So it's sort of like a birthday gift and a Hanukkah gift kind of thing. And I need about, uh, I think, $300 a year to pay for all the gifts that I buy my family. So 50, 70, 90, 5, 6, 7. Not much condensing to do there at the moment. And then I have my accountant. There's only 120 in here right now. And the 100 is a prompt bill. Prompt. Prop bill. Uh, you can always tell because I stick a sticker on it. And then I have an emergency fund that this is, um, this is what I just added. Uh, I do have an emergency fund in the bank, a savings account with $1,000 in it. That is for uh, an emergency. Uh, but in here it tends to be the rollover each month and then i decide if i put it in the bank or if i keep it here so like the um if i spend less because they don't come they don't stay as long to clean the house so i don't spend as much the rollover would go here if i don't need to keep it in the envelope and if you just heard what i heard you heard thunder it is pouring outside so this is my short uh miscellaneous planner. This red one started out as mine, but quickly became the dogs. I have a, I have Cedric, Cedric Doggery. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you know who he's named for. If not, read Harry Potter. Um, or 
borrow it from the library. Do not give J.K. Rowling your money anymore. Um, he is a Boston and Rat Terrier mix. He is high maintenance, but lower cost than he used to be. So I keep a couple of specific envelopes for him. First on the list, the Cedric one, is for his care. When I travel, someone stays here with him at my home and it's like $300 for a week. It's a really good expense because it manages his anxiety better. He's in his space with someone he loves. Right now it only has a 50 in it because I was away in July for a week and he had someone staying with him. His groomer, uh, Every, he's a short haired terrier, so he doesn't get a lot of grooming. It's really for his nails and his teeth and his butt. But I keep about, what do I keep? $45 in here. So I have 20, 45, which means it doesn't get stuffed as often. And um, I thought actually for a while it would be cheaper to do his grooming through the vet, actually more expensive. His treats, $20. That's it. It's just it's just for when he's an exceptionally good boy. Food, he just got a new bag of food, so it's empty, but I keep 50 in there. And then if there's any rollover at any time from any of his funds, I just put it in the emergency. So that way I continuously stuff each envelope, but should he have an unexpected expense, which when, if you have a pet, you know, a surprise need to go to the vet tends to cost $1,000. So that's his, there's nothing much to condense there. And then my checkered binder has the car. Uh, these are all car related expenses. Amica is my insurance company. I pay car insurance annually, and I know this is the big stuffing. Um, it's about 16 to 1800 a year for my car, and, um, and that typically goes down every year. Something will happen like a ticket or somebody hit my car and I didn't know who and it had to be repaired, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it does go up and down, but every year it tends to get smaller and smaller. So I keep, I'm trying to build it up to about 1800, but my payment will be in January. So I have six months to get it up there. Uh, and this is the first time I'm stuffing it. Even if I don't hit the 1800 this year, it'll still feel less like a hit come January when I have to pay it, instead of me trying to find the $1,600 in my savings, it will already be there without me being like, ugh, I'm killing my savings account by doing this. So one, two, three, four, 500 already, six, 20, 35, 635. Uh, and yeah, I probably won't, I'll probably get to about 1200, maybe 1300 this year. Uh, but I only started in June doing this. So I really only had seven months of savings to get ready. So it'll be an impact, even if I'm trying to find $600 from my savings account, which is supposed to be for emergencies, not for annual expenses. Car inspection has $10. This I only have to do once a year and it's about $35 and I did it in July. So it has plenty. <laughs> Cedric does not like the thunder. Excise tax in the state I live in, this I have to pay every year on a car and I do. He's, he has feelings about thunder. He thinks he can fight it. <laughs> Literally. Um, so we pay an annual excise tax on our cars. And I, I have a relatively new car. It's only about a year old. So it's very high right now. I think I'm trying to get it to about a thousand. Um, again, won't happen, but instead of come March, me struggling to find the money, it's already gonna be put aside and earmarked specifically for it. So one, two, 20, 30, 5, 36. So 236 in excise tax. So again, come March when I have to pay this again, even if I only have half of it saved up, it's still going to be less cumbersome to come up with the rest. Uh, my car registration is fully funded at $30. Car wash, uh, I'm not a big car wash fan. 
Uh, I typically only do it when I get my oil changed because the dealership does it and I let the rain do the ex the outside of my car more often than going through the car wash. Car wash should actually sometimes be in the Cedric expense because it is a form of entertainment for him. But there is a, I think $20 in there. It's about $30 for me to wash my car. So even, and that's like the Supreme uh, cleaning. So it's 20 right now. I haven't touched it in a while. And then I keep a gasoline buffer from that short term miscellaneous um, no, actually it's in my, it's a, yeah, my short term miscellaneous has that gasoline one, but this is the buffer when I, it typically does not cost me $80 a tank. It sometimes costs about 55, 60 per tank. So what I will do is take the rest here, put it on the buffer. If I need to put gas in the car again before the end of the month, this is where it comes out of. And those are my envelopes for a cash un a cash bill exchange. Now, that is all of that. Let's count what we have here, because I mostly just touched the 50s, to make sure we still have 890. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. Wait. Let's start again. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. So as expected, 890. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a purple heart in the comments so that I know to make more cash condensing videos because you like them. They're my favorite to watch, so I hope they're your favorite to watch too. If you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel. Of course, ring the bell. Eventually, YouTube notifies you, right? But you can, you can see all my videos when they come up, and I will typically be posting each week so that you can see how my finances are coming along. I hope you enjoyed. Come back for the next video and we'll keep working on the money situation. Bye.